Was thanks for joining us. Again, disappointed with the result, but what about that performance? I think first and foremost, Dave, we'll be beat by a better team tonight. Um, I think there'll be... Uh, take some going to, to, to stop them when they when they hit the rhythm in the manner that they did this evening but at, at times I felt we, you know, we, we defended very well in the first half, we knew we were going to be for long periods without the ball and I thought we showed good, uh, you know, good level of compactness, we stayed together we, you know, we, we, we set out to, to make it difficult for them at times and I thought we did and then there was times where we uh, regained the ball and, and, and hit the sort of passes and, and, and looked to counter attack in the manner that, that we'd set out to do. Uh, and we, not that we looked a particular threat, but it got us up the pitch and, and felt we could have imposed ourselves on the game a little bit more on that front. But um, like I say, beaten by a better team today. Change the formation. Yeah, to a degree. I suppose you could still class it 3-5-2. I suppose it's you know, players that you put in different positions. But what I felt was um, one or two players that deserved the opportunity tonight. So, Miles Judd come into the team. Dale Gorman come into the team. Joe Widdison, obviously, you know, back in contention. Um, and we obviously wanted to give Louis Dennis the opportunity to get some, some minutes under his belt. He's had a tough pre-season because we only signed him late. So, in order to do that, we felt we were going to be a little bit more compact in the middle of the pitch by having Josh Wright, Craig Clay and uh, Dale Gorman in there together. And like I say, for, for, for a period of time, we look, we look fairly fairly solid in, in that formation. So, you can only, you can only try these things and, uh, you know, hope you get a little bit more out of it than we did tonight. The substitutes seem to have an impact, particularly James Brophy. Yeah, we, that was part of our plan, if you like, that, that let's, let's keep ourselves in a game. Um, and then we had the then opportunity to you know, that Louis was going to have to come off at some stage or we was going to put him at, at risk of injury. But then we knew that we could bring either, either James or, or Jordan Maguire drew on into that sort of more attacking midfield position. Uh, and we felt that they would, would be able to impact the game a little bit more. I think what we need now is to start to start to build a little bit more in the opposition's half and try to get more shots at goal and become a little bit more of a threat. We were a little bit careful around the box when we got the opportunity this evening. A night when nothing went right. Should it have been a penalty for James Bofi? He's adamant. Uh, certainly heard their defender come off at the end there and rub salt into the wound to say that it was a penalty. Uh, referee said it's down to who instigates the contact, which therefore, in my opinion, means that if James instigates it, it's a dive. If their defender instigates it, it's a penalty. I'm not sure he can make it any simpler than that. Um, but that's the, that's the answer I was given by the referee, so we'll go with that, whatever that means. Back in the Football League, it is on a learning curve. And what would you have learnt tonight? A lot. Um, lo- learned a lot from the last two games, Dave. I think the biggest thing that everybody's uh, coming to terms with is if you make an error, you get punished a lot or you know, look far more than, than, than we would have done last year and, and certainly Saturday that was that was definitely our undoing individual errors that, that led to the opportunity to Macclesfield to, to punish us and albeit we were the second best team this evening we've given given a, a couple of goals away with with, with, with Juddy not staying with his man in the box and then obviously a bit of a scruffy header off of, off of Marv so uh, that's the biggest thing that I think we'll take out of tonight and then also at the same time the fact that when we do get opportunities round round the edge of the box or in the opposition's final third we've got to be a little bit more aggressive I think but that's certainly something we'll, we'll start to work towards Are you concerned that there haven't been too many clear-cut chances in the last two away games? Of course concerned um, you know like I say one or two half chances I think last year when we put the ball in the box from some set pieces we were probably a little bit more physically overpowered than everybody else so that's something that we've sort of come into terms with we're going to have to have a little bit more nous on that front um, but like I say uh, we, 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 can, we can be a little bit more uh, positive a little bit more aggressive around, around the box in order to give ourselves you know, that, that opportunity to create more chances Games come thick and fast it's Stevenage on Saturday Scott Cuthbert of course the, uh, um, there and will there be a new arrival or two for the O's before then? <laughs> It's an always an awkward question to answer for you, Dave. It's something that we're, we're trying to achieve. You know, we've obviously got to find player, the right player to fit into, you know, the right budget and, and, the, and the right personnel to, to, to fit into into what we want. And obviously, someone that to, to, to meet, that, meet that criteria and, and, and then improve us at the same time is something that I think we'd all like to see pretty soon. Any injuries after tonight? Nothing that anyone's reported there. So Marv sort of tightening up towards the end, but the boys have done a lot of running tonight because Plymouth had a lot of the ball, and that's so it was something that we expected to happen. But so far, so good. Nothing, nothing reported. So let's fingers crossed that's the case. Over two hundred travelling vans. Yeah, magnificent. Um, 
had a good opportunity to talk to one or two of them before the game, and it was fantastic to you know to, to hear and, and, and receive their support. And people clapped us off towards the end there. Um, the boys have put a shift in tonight, and hopefully people have seen that. Albeit that we've come you know come off the back of the last two games, very very disappointed. But one thing I said to the lads after the game there is tonight was a, an opportunity for us to show something and, and bounce back. We haven't we haven't done that tonight. It was a bit of a free hit. We're back to reality at the weekend. We're back in you know, into what is our bread and butter and and, and and league games where we need to go and impose ourselves and, and, and get some points on the board. Well, thanks, Ross.